children for parents, question is, will the next generation do so? How about the generation after? And even if they do, is it fair for them to leave that kind of responsibility? Diba? Our culture says, you take care of your parents. That doesn't mean it's right. The Bible says, a good man is an inheritance to his children and to his children's children. Bakit sa Bible baliktan? Bakit sa atin ganito? Ay, kultura natin yan, hindi natin mababago. O ngayon, kata kayo, bakit tayo nangihirapan? That's why the rich becomes richer and the poor becomes poorer. Diba? We have now have a culture of dependency. We now have a culture of, 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 uh, of entitlement. You know, I've been doing a lot of the OFW rants and, and it really pains me. I've actually shed a tear or two for them. There's 11 million people out there. But the 11 million people with dependents who don't do anything. And what happens? The social cost and the financial cost, and worse, they don't even save and invest. So when they go home, they don't have any money. But that's not just limited to the OFW. Girl, me think, though. Eh, alam mo ba yung savings and investing, hindi yan limited sa lower class. Pati sa upper class, marami ka rin, hindi nag-save, hindi nag-invest. Hindi nag-invest. Kaya mayaman nilang bukas, hindi. Eh, okay? it's behavior. And people think, I have to learn, I have to... No, 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 you don't even have to buy my book. But please buy my book. <laughs> Because I need to send the kids to school. <laughs> But I mean, people, you don't even buy a book and have a seminar. Just have the right behavior. Because finance is 80% behavior and only 20% uh, skill. That's according to Dave Ramsey. And that's true. Behavior ka lang, problema na. Diba? We have those problems. Okay? Story. I like to say, I mean, you might, might have heard this story that I keep on using over and over and over again, but I'll say it anyway. Kung narinig nila, makisama na kayo, tumawa kayo. Matanda, tumanda. Walang pera. Tipaid sa anak na. Marinig mo na lang yung mga anak na, nagpukusap sa telepono. Ring! Hello, daddy. Eh, hello, kuya. Si tatay, takot pa ko na nakatira sa amin. Ilan nilip na kami. Kunin mo naman. Question. Nangyayari ba sa society natin? Madami mo madalas. Uh, yung kuya niya, may asthma, di ba yung asthma? Uh, sige, o titiis na lang, pwede ko na lista kayo. Kaya kawawang ko tayo, yung babae nag-aalaga sa magulang. Kabuti lang, may dalawang babae. <laughs> dalawang babae yung anak, ha? Ay, so... <laughs> Mamaya, anak ang podcast ko, mali yung temptation, yari na naman ako. So, yun yung so, ano-ano, yun yung scenario, di ba? Take care. And, and that's a scenario, that's an Indian scenario, where it, you know, somebody has to take care of the parents, blah, blah, blah. And it becomes a strain. Diba? It becomes a strain. Saan mo kuya, oh, sige, kung itiis ka lang, kung ipulit kakay sa inyo. Ikaw ay pulit kakay, ikaw ay nanan, narinig po. Ano pa, ano pa kailang doon mo? That's why, how about our, our elderly? Mababa na yung self-esteem, mababa na yung moral nila. Which is kind of sad. That's very different with other nations when, it, when they hit retirement, when they get old, they have that, that you know, that the dignity is well intact. They travel, they take cruises. Pag tumanda rin ako na ginagawa, nag-aalaga ng apo. Nagbabantay ng bahay. Naging kusinera. I mean, how about me and my wife? We don't expect to do that. My wife homeschool chill. Yung si Yeng nag-homeschool din ang anak niya. Actually, hindi kami ni Yeng. Masawa namin na nag-homeschool. So, <laughs> nag-homeschool kami, mga dalawang anak namin. Eh, yung know, my, 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 my elder daughters, but they were already 21 and 19. Okay. Basta ganun yung age nila. <laughs> eh, sabi niya, oh, yun ang I love homeschooling. Ma, when I have a child, you homeschool ko rin. Really? Yeah. When I go to work, I'll drop it up in the house, you homeschool ko. <laughs> sabi niya, that's my obligations with you will be finished once you're on your own. And that's the way you want to raise them. And that's the way it should be raised. But we have 90 million Filipinos who doesn't think that way. So it's going to be a struggle. Now, change your story. Ito yung story naman, yung tao may pera naman. Ito naman marilig po. Ring of all. Ito ito, ring. Kuya. Si Papay. Tapos ako naman sa inyo. Kami naman. Sorry nangyari sa pagpapaganda. May pera. Pinagkakagawan naman. That's such a... That's so cool, eh. I mean, we should just change what we need to change. We have problems with behavioral in nature. Ergo seminars, group. I've been trying to get... Uh, I've been trying to use media extensively on how to perpetrate financial education. That's why I have a radio program, I have to lang, ang hirap, you know, sabi niya, nine o'clock, every time I have to be the radio, pag nag-invite sa TV, pag nag-invite sa school, sa university, I will always have a go abroad, I will do that because we need that. The same time, we're trying to go certain things that are systemic in nature. Like, you know, like, sa Pilipinas, it's a disincentive to invest because there's too much taxes, and so, so we're trying to 
break that. We're, we're doing a, a, a part of the registered financial planner institute where we're trying to do some systemic changes also. Okay? So it's both. We need to do that because we want to have a good future. Okay? But we start with behavior first. Solution. In my book, I said the best solution is simple. 70-30 principle. And the 70-30 principle, spend as much as only 70% and learn how to be, uh, learn how to save in less than 30%. Okay? Madalit sabihin, mahirap gawin. Ba't mo lang naman short na? Ito yung mga Pilipino, yung mga, ano, mga mahilig mo sinabi nga ni, you know, ni Jen, yung mga seminarista, ayun na. Tapos na naman ako. Okay, okay. Di ba, nang intro lang naman ako, hindi siya naman magpaklose to. Okay? Ano siya sabi nila? Power to order siya sabi nila, di ba? Really, we can't do anything about it. But we can. We can change. Ito yung mga Pilipino, mahilig natin sa mga short na. Yung loto, tignan mo. Diba? O kaya nga yung uso na yung mga seminar, ano yung mga seminar na get quick reach na type na money attraction, wealth attraction, at yung kung tiket mo matabo, wal tingat kayo, tata kayo, yama kayo bukas. Wala ganun eh. It's a process. And that's what we try to teach you. It's a process. It is sad to see that look at our savings rate in the world. Okay? Hong Kong is about 33%. Singapore is 50%. Korea is 30 plus percent. Taiwan is 26%. Savings rate ha? Countries, third world countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand, look where they are. They're all here. So what happens? Nakita niyo to, this is where everybody lives. Because ideally, is when you spend only about 7%, you say 30%, you're going to be okay. That's why you see countries like Indonesia really progressing. Diba? That's the trend. Ang mga ito sa Pilipino, ano yan eh, pinakuso natin sa itang trend. Ano yung trending? Diba? Nagpapag-trend tayo. Sabi ng mga Pinoy, Bakit tayo yung dyan, nandiyan sa Singapore, dito rito sila lahat, po tayo sa rinig trend. Ang rinig trend natin, hindi maganda. 16% savings rate. 2012, hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin yung savings rate natin, ako 2011. Ang baba. Ang laki ng tinak na economy natin. Ang laki natin, give you all the economic indexes. I can give you all the, the data. Kung nga rin wala kayong social life, punta kayo ako, ikwento ko kayo. <laughs> I, I have, I can give you all of that. But this is a problem eh. It doesn't change. Well, it's happening to my philosophy. Well, Randall, this was consistent. <laughs> Consistently wrong. That, that's a problem. That's a problem that needs to, to change. Okay? That needs to change. And why? I borrow this. May mga taga-sunlight pa dito? Yes. Wonderful study. I encourage everybody to take a check on this study in Flair. I want the first ones that they accept this report. I love this. Sinabi rito, in preparing for life anticipated in, uh, events, 1 out of 10 Filipinos will invest, 22 out of 10 will get insured, 8 out of 10 will save the bank. Tingnan mo, oh, alam mo, isang tao lang out of 10 na mag invest dalawa lang mag insure In the rest, nag-save lang sa banko. Buti mo nag-save regularly, eh magkano kinikita nila sa banko? Nakita nyo na ba interest sa banko? Tignan nyo, kailangan nyo ng microfo, ano, microscopic glass. Ganun, ganun, ganun. Bakit? Siya sobrang lingit. Tapos gumamit ka pa ng ATM sa kabilang banko, na David ka pa. Na negative ka pa. I mean, things like that. So, sophistication, we have a problem. That's why we want to continue to encourage, to, t- to teach people. I mean, Yang and Paolo are champions in entrepreneurship. Marvin and I are champions in investing. Diba? Ben is a champion in stewardship. Okay? Si Jason chapel somewhere. But, <laughs> no, really, we're all, we're all, and then it's also entrepreneurship. So we can't kanya kami, but we have to do that. Otherwise, we won't have a problem. Okay? Our goal, my goal, okay, what I stand for is to bring people here from spender, and that's where we are right now. We spend so much, we spend almost everything that we earn. And some of us, which is the biggest problem in the Philippines today, is the ballooning consumer debt. Hindi natin nila report, hindi lumalaw pa sa media, pero ang laking problema. Baon sa credit card, di ba? Yung credit card, nakikita lang yung credit card na may picture. Di ba? Yung mga picture card, tawag nila, City Bank, may ganyan, or Metro Bank. Hindi ba, sobrang gumagal ng credit card, yung picture nila gumagal na eh. Hindi, hindi ko joke yung credit card, hindi lang yan. Ang gumagal na talaga, I'm not so sad. So we want to continue. We, we, Mas maganda pa kailan ng king here. So we want to be able to, we want to be able to move people from being a spender to move them to becoming a saver. But it doesn't stop here. We ultimately want them to move to become an investor. 
entrepreneurial, investing, but instruments, mutual fund. You want to learn about mutual fund? Visit my radio program. Then I will have a UIT and then I will have a UN or attend our programs. By the way, pa-promote ko lang. Kasi yun na lang ko, intro lang ako ngayon. Binigyan lang sa akin, 45 days.